scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your souls. Hey guys, it's Nick from this here, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about something you may or may not know about. Now, a while back uh, in 2014, a lead singer from a band called Guar or G W A R, I'm not sure. It's a metal band, anyways. He died last year. And for some reason, there's a petition for a character that his band created, the character's name being Odorus Arungus. There is a petition for Odorus Arungus to appear in Mortal Kombat X. Now, I'm not too sure if anybody has talked about this on YouTube yet. I think I may be the first one to talk about it. I'm not saying I am, I just, from what I've seen. So I'm going to break the silence and talk about Odorus Arungus appearing in Mortal Kombat X. Now, he has no place in Mortal Kombat X, I'm going to be honest, no place whatsoever. Yet, his petition has 27,000 signs on it. Why? That is my question, is why does Odorus Arungus have 27k signs for a petition? He has no powers, he has no moves, nothing special about him, all we know is what he looks like, and that he sings metal. What's his fatality going to be? He screams so loud that they're friggin, they explode 10 times? He got Sindel 2.0? I don't know, I just, I find it very weird that people want Odorus Arungus so badly when he's got nothing to him. People were even comparing him to Freddy Krueger, they're like, oh, well, it's not too far-fetched if Freddy Krueger made it into Mortal Kombat. Well, you know, you can't make that comparison at all, because, for a few reasons, actually, Freddy Krueger is an extremely iconic character. He is extremely popular. Like, go and ask some random person on the street, say, hey, do you know who Freddy Krueger is, or show him a picture? 9 out of 10 of the times they're going to know who Freddy Krueger is. I mean, who doesn't, right? Who doesn't know who Freddy Krueger is? This Odorous Arungus guy, I've never heard of him before this petition came into play. I never heard of him at all. And I have friends who love metal. So, there's that. Also, Freddy Krueger is owned by Warner Bros. Alright? That's another thing to make it easy. Odorous Arungus, I don't even know how they get the rights to them. I guess they just have to ask the band. But the, the guy, the lead singer is dead, who played Odorus Arungus, so his voice wouldn't even be used in Odorus Arungus, which is the only thing he has, is the voice. So that's just a weird comparison to me, why you compare Freddy Krueger, an iconic movie character, to Odorus Arungus, a ba barely known character from a metal band. He's got no powers, and in my opinion, I just don't think he should be in Mortal Kombat X as there are many other guest characters they could use, such as Jason Voorhees, Predator, Sweet Tooth, you know, there's just a bunch you could use besides Odorous Arungus. Not to mention, Ed Boon has even talked about Odorous Arungus very briefly in this tweet here. Somebody sent him the petition saying, okay, hey, what's, what's up with this? And he, he said, nice, but you'll have to have a lot more signatures than that. Now, 27,000 signatures is a lot. I don't know how many signatures it had when this was sent to him, but he basically just said that it's not going to happen because, I mean, he even agrees that Odorus Arungus being in the game is a dumb idea. There's nothing to work with. They have to make three variations. It's hard enough for characters they have with already powers and stuff. Do you know how hard that would be with a character who has nothing at all? I just really don't see Odorus Arungus appearing in Mortal Kombat X. That's just my opinion. You guys can think what you want to think, but I'm going to tell you right now, he's not going to be in the game. So anyways, let me know what you guys think down below about Odorous Arungus appearing in Mortal Kombat X. As always, this has been Nickfamous. See you later. Let's see how he likes to come in,